So if you're a man who suffers from bloating, gas, mood swings, cramps, this story is for you. In other words, that time of the month. Oregon's Menstrual Dignity Act requires schools to place feminine products in boys' bathrooms. This is at foxnews.com. The law also requires schools to post instructions on how to use menstrual products. This is by Taylor Penley. This came out today, the 5th. By the way, happy Cinco de Mayo. So it says here, Oregon public schools will be required to provide feminine products along with instructions on quote unquote, how to use those products in all K through 12 bathrooms, regardless of gender, in accordance with the state's Menstrual Dignity Act signed into law last year. The controversial mandate, solidified by Democrat Governor Kate Brown, was set to go into a full, uh, its full effect during the 2022 to 2023 school year. A 2021 statement from Portland Public Schools uh, detailed how the act would be implemented long term. And they've got a picture here of uh, somebody grabbing some tampons. Starting next year, 2022 to 2023, products will be available in all restrooms, male, female, and all gender, in every PPS building where education occurs, the statement read. To ensure timely compliance, PPS ordered 500 dispensers. Dispensers have been installed in all elementary and middle school girls' restrooms, and more will be installed in all remaining bathrooms, including boys' restrooms, next year. Maybe I need to look down there and make sure I've still got it. I mean, if you're starting to uh, have that monthly cycle and you're a guy, I think you need to go to a doctor and get this thing checked out. Instructions on how to use tampons and pads will be posted in all bathrooms, the source added. The statement also stressed the need for students to learn about growth and development, noted that some physical education courses are implementing lessons on, quote, the four pillars of menstrual dignity. Shouldn't this be for people who are like in seventh, eighth grade, freshmen in high school? I mean, that's the appropriate age for this. So you're going to put this in elementary schools now? I don't think so. Those of you in uh, Portland, get out now. And they encourage parents to have similar discussions with their children to help reduce the shame and stigma surrounding menstruation. Why don't you leave it up to the parents, PPS? Leave it up to the parents to decide when they want to talk to their daughters about uh, the changes that are happening during puberty. And men as well, or young boys as well, when they reach that age. The Oregon Department of Education also doubled down on the controversial content by issuing, quote, a menstrual dignity for students toolkit in March, complete with instructions on how to use menstrual products, segments on faculty and uh, staff training, classroom instructions, and tips for, quote, unquote, uh, menstruation positive language. You see, they use all this fancy language, you can't even pronounce it. You don't even know what it means. There's a uh, sub-headline here. Well, they've got a a frame here that says, uh, with the caption, Supreme Court reinstates, quote-unquote, woke admissions policy. Might do a video about that. The toolkit also emphasized the need for menstrual products in all bathrooms because lack of access disproportionately impacts students of color, students experiencing disabilities, and students experiencing poverty. Importantly, the Menstrual Dignity Act affirms the right to menstrual dignity for transgender, intersex, non-binary, and two-spirit students. Two-spirit? Explain the two-spirit thing to me, please. Two-spirit students. Well, I'm a a one-spirit student. Me. One-spirit student of life. By addressing the challenges that some students have managing menstruation while minimizing negative attention that could put them at risk of harm and navigating experiences of gender dysphoria, blah, 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 blah. This is total BS. Quote, unquote, research also connects gender-affirming bathroom access to supporting student safety at school, the toolkit said. Republicans outraged by the bill spoke out on the measure. Gubernatorial candidate Bridget Barton slammed Brown for the policy, 
as well as her stance on abortion in a statement to Fox News Digital. Quote, Governor Brown also just passed something called the Menstrual Dignity Act, which will start requiring public schools to provide period products in all gender bathrooms. All is in caps, by the way. In K-12 through schools, she said. So kindergarten boys will be exposed to signage and instruction on how to use pads and tampons during the school day. Inappropriate, number one. And number two, wrong gender. You want to come to my channel and argue with me about that? Please feel free in the comment section below. But if you have any doubt about who you are, uh, whether you're male or female, look uh, look down there. It should give you a clue. And if that doesn't give you a clue, you need help. How do you function throughout the day? Barr noted another policy flaw among the state's education system, saying that these students rank 47th in the nation in reading and math. Should we be more concerned about these students knowing how to read and write? after Brown revoked allegedly racist academic requirements. What are these racist academic requirements? See, they throw this stuff out there, racist. I'm not afraid of that word anymore. I'm just not afraid of it. I'm tired of it, actually. Racist. I don't think so. My cousins are Japanese-American. I happen uh, to have some Native American in my family. And you know, I've talked in the series time and time again about how the Irish were treated, the Chinese were treated, uh, treated, treated, doing this in one take today. All these other groups were treated. So don't sit there and talk to me about racism and how uh, these academic requirements are racist. No, people want the best for their children, for the next generation. And how do you do that? You do that through education, through apprenticeships, there's nothing new about that. It goes way back to ancient Rome and Greece. Barton also blasted the state's leadership for being out of touch with Oregonians on other key social issues, including abortion, which he says most of the state citizens disagree with when polled. Pol pardon me, when polled. When polled. When polled, do you, like, I'm going to pull you aside, do you agree with abortion or not? Which, actually, that is an issue that I believe should be left to the state. Should not have nine judges, nine people in robes deciding what's best for the rest of the country. But this is a story, again, at foxnews.com. Again, a one-take video today. Title of the article, scrolling up to the top here. Oregon's Menstrual Dignity Act requires schools to place feminine products in boys' bathrooms by Taylor Penley. So you like the video, know what to do. Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this great country, and I'll catch you next time.